Okay, so now that we've done that, we can move to... I guess we should go see Gumshoe at the Criminal Criminal Affairs Department. So, let's go see him now that we've met our witness here. So we just go... Um, I guess uh, we'll save this for later, actually. I want to kind of save some stuff for the surprise and the thrill later. Let's go to the Criminal Affairs Department. And yay, when we see this screen, we know there's something exciting for us that's gonna happen, yay. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe, we just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Well, let's talk to Gumshoe about new stuff that we have to talk to him about. The victim! Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, I still can't ID him. Has Mr. Ezra said anything? Not a word. The meeting. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know? I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Ezra's human like you or me. Still. I get the feeling he'd done some- if he- that he- if he did something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Uh, yes sir! And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Alright, let's talk about trusting Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe, how can you trust Edgeworth so much? Well, I'd like to think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's just how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little bit extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in all of us. I see. Mr. Edwards is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. And now we have the autopsy report. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face! Someone you know? I... don't know. I just have this feeling that I've met him somewhere before, a long time ago. Alright, so, let's go ahead and, and check... Um, oh, gotta go to present. Even though we're not gonna present it, I wanna check it out. The time of death caused sometime on the 24th or 25th, one bullet shot to the heart. Okay, well, now that we have the autopsy report, I guess we should move back to Wright & Co. Law Offices and um, talk to Maya. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report one more time? Autopsy. It's autopsy. Hey, I remember now. This guy. This is a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean McGrossberg's office? Right, that guy! That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for the old time's sake. Um, so, we just need to go ahead and move to the Gord Lake entrance. Oh, I, no, no, I didn't want, oh god, I didn't want to see you get out of here, I, no. Okay, it's much better. Much better, much better. So we need to move to the, pretty much back to the woods now, so, fairly simple. Back to the woods. And we have stuff to do again, because there's the text box. Gord Lake Woods. Hey, y'all! Lotta! Wait up a sec, we got a bingo! Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them, take a look. Wait, see? See? He's shooting him with that pistol! It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. 
Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? N never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Mmm. I reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. W wait Lotta! What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please? Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice. That means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south, south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Sheesh. Lotta! Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or is that the other way around? No matter. I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hi, darn! She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Lake photo added to the court record. <clears throat> Looks like the police have given up their questioning. Hey! Oh my god, it's Santa! Ah! Nick! I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick! Nick? You know Santa? Wow! Nick and Saint Nick? Hey! I see the connection! Don't be ridiculous! Dude, it's me! L Larry! Wow, it's been a forever since we met him! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job! I sell samurai dogs, want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl Kianse deserves the best! Kianse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea I wear this costume. She was all like, you know, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must really be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your, not my what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, my F.A. I'm, uh, the little sister. Little sister? Wow, Nick. Must be tough. Working 9 to 5 having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh. Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. <laughs> Alrighty, so are we see our good friend Larry here again after... Um, it's been, what, one, two, three cases now without him being here. I can't believe I had to count that. Sheesh. Okay, what happened? Hey Larry, there was a murder here last night. You work here. Have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Ooh! I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. N no, it's just Keonse's not in town right now. She she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial was tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth! Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course! Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Samurai dogs. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? W why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Kianse's idea, and, oh, she's my woman, you know. She was, I'll change the name and you go, girlfriend. And she made that banner. 
Man, the kids can't get enough of these samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What was that big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G G Gordy? So, Mr. Edgeworth is your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah! Wait a second, but Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney! What? Edgy's got a pro probosius on his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney! That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He's always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about a man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Nick didn't say anything. Or, wow, she's got me calling him Nick now. Phoenix didn't say anything. Gordy. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake. A giant, mysterious monster. Gordy. Uh, monster? Yeah! Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real! Giant life form appears in Gord Lake. N Nick, a monster, a real monster! Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something. Right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got to the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry! Can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. 